It's time for Don and Ron. You won't get this anywhere else. All right, folks, welcome to another edition of Don and Ron. Uh, we're talking about laying out your end numbers on your wings. And uh, this is the last part of being able to do these numbers and letters and everything for your for your bottom of the wing because that's where you want to start at like we talked about but you can see how we've kind of got them laid out right here kind of let my camera operator kind of pan around a little bit but basically we did this today where we cut out all the little excess even the stuff on the outside of the stripe uh as far as the numbers and stuff you're concerned it's not necessary that you do that we went through a little bit more detail so that you can kind of see the numbers um, so the stuff that's outside, you can let, let your tape run wild. You don't have to do all the cutting that we did extra today. And uh, when we do go to lay out the top of the other wing, we won't do that either. So the only place we need to cut is inside and do our nice pretty cuts on our points and stuff right there. But like I say, just pan on down, take a look and see what, uh, see how it looks. Again, like I say, we got our 24 inch letters and then we've got N and C. Then we've got our eight inch gap between the, the actual end numbers themselves. And then everything is again, four inches, four inches. That's basically your rule of thumb that you need to look at when you're laying these numbers out. Like I say, if you've got your number 18, your pattern to be able to do it. Um, if you look back at a lot of the archives, you'll be able to see this basic shapes and how things are done. You'll see some like right over here on like a seven. Sometimes you'll have a little hook coming down, but pretty much the early versions, um, most of them just had standard end numbers as far as letters, nothing special on the, you know, how it was laid out. Uh, keeping it simple as best as possible. All right, so now we're gonna finish making our stencil um, so that we can transfer this over to the top of the other wings. everybody and again here we are with Don and Ron talking about putting your end numbers on your wings for a J3 Cub. You can see we've got our stencil now but if you kind of come in a little bit closer you can kind of see what we've done is we just simply took on the marker took a razor blade on a table and cut these corners out so now we'll take our pencil okay again or that marker from uh charcoal pencil from the guys over there at like Michael's or something like that or even Walmart's and we'll real simply just mark this corner okay and so now we'll go through and we'll mark all these guys out kind of get in here so that we can have our corners and then we'll start laying our tapes out one thing that's helpful is to have this stencil kind of laying off to the side so that if you kind of confuse yourself where the markings are and what they're for, you'll be able to look back at your stencil and kind of get an idea and make sure you get all your points. But uh, anyway, that's kind of how we do We've laid our, our 24 inch lines, uh, orange tape on this one, or you can use blue to whatever you want to use. Uh, and we've set the distance and then we just simply brought our stencil on top. And then of course we did our 16 inch from the wing root um, to do the starter point. And that's as simple as it gets. It really is. Now we'll go through, we'll mark all these corners, pull our stencil off, start laying tape. So like I said, the hard one was the getting the bottom done to start with, but it's so much easier now that you've got the stencil on the top part of the wing because the dips in between the fabric, between the ribs. So anyway, that'll pretty much do us up until you see the pictures uh, after it's painted. One of the good things about having this stencil, once you get done with it, you can actually use this as your tape or your paper to mask off with. So now you can come in here and cut this open and take the letters out and you can simply mask off your edges. So this is like a pre-mask for at least one of uh, your wings, either top or bottom. So it works out kind of nice when you have this. Because like right over here, for instance, the four, you know, you can cut this section out right here and now you've got a pre-made, like say a pattern to uh, mask it off with. So it, it does work out kind of nice when you have these these little guys. So take advantage of it, don't just throw it away. But uh, anyway, again, peace out from Don and Ron. Have a good day.